What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at another product from Oaxis, which is, of course, our sponsor of today. As you guys can see, I did make a video for them a little bit back. That was their main e ink case, and clearly it was successful because they've decided to make another one. As you can see right here, this is known as the ink case Ivy, and it's basically the similar concept to the last one, except the fact that there are a wide variety of designs, and the overall case design actually matters more than the screen on the back of the case. See, one of the frustrations of the last case that I used was that it stood out just a little too much and everyone would always question why is there a screen on the back of your phone oh what is that why is that so cool oh can is it touch screen and everyone would want to play with it and the case itself was just confusing enough to the point where I really didn't feel like explaining over and over how exactly you can go and play around with it however it was cool and I still loved it and you should still go check it out if you want a full-fledged ebook reader on the back of your case but if you want something just a little bit more low key, then the Incase IV shines. As you can see right here, it has a awesome design cue. So there's wood grains, there's a matte black version, there's a white version to match whichever color iPhone you have. And then there's the star of the show. There's three buttons and a screen on the top left corner directly underneath the camera. And this screen can be used for a variety of purposes. Now, one of the main purposes is of course, to display the time, the date, but you can also go and refresh it in just a certain way to basically make it so it shows images as well. You can actually add cool designs, which actually come with the case itself but you can also add your own maybe selfies maybe cool designs directly from your own camera roll and you can also edit those images before they turn into black and white images that are portrayed on the back of the case now the last and most useful thing is reminders calendar and of course your notifications you can show all of those directly on this case it also has a pretty awesome battery life you probably don't have to charge this for weeks unless you're refreshing it on like a minute by minute basis and since it's e-ink you actually don't use any battery unless you actually go and refresh so it's as good as it gets um, the calendar and to-do list all sync with your Apple reminders application and it's more or less devoted directly to iTunes so everything is bug free and the last thing that I want to tell you guys about is the membership card section. Once I jump into the application itself, I'm going to explain all these a little bit more, uh, a little bit further. But if you guys can tell, the size of this little screen is about the size of a membership card to maybe like a gym or something. And this basically makes it so you can actually go and take your membership cards, sync them directly with the case and have them always on the back of this case. So if you're working somewhere and you, or if you go to the gym every single day, this might be a pretty awesome way to declutter your wallet. And finally, it's super thin and super durable. Now I've used this for like a week or so now, and it only weighs in at around 55 grams and it's only 3.1 millimeters thick. It's as if you didn't even add a case in the first place, but it feels a lot nicer. You know, the curves on this basically make it feel as if it's one of the most premium expensive cases that you can possibly buy. And the wood grain only adds to it if you get that particular version. It just has that really expensive case five. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a cheap case. This does have a pretty decent hefty price for some of you guys. We're just looking for your average case. It comes in at around $70. So if you're looking for something a little bit more low end, you might want to stick below 50. But if you want something that has, you know, a screen on the back of it, has a premium feel and will protect your phone without being too much of a burden, this is probably the ultimate way to go, especially if you have an iPhone 7. Finally, I want to talk about the overall durability of this. It does have an anti-scratch material on it and it goes up to 9H. And of course, it does have a pretty decent shock absorbing uh, material. So with that said, here's my only downside to that. I feel like if you drop this, you kind of have to still be wary of carrying around this case because you don't want to drop the case itself. The phone is expensive, but on top of it, this case is pretty expensive as well. And if it lands in the wrong way, you know, potentially it might damage that cool little screen and you really don't want to damage that. But it does come with a warranty. So, you know, you have a pretty decent peace of mind. With that said, even if the case gets damaged, your phone probably won't, and you're pretty much set to go in terms of that. And last but not least, I did mention looks a bunch of times throughout the review so far, but I want to give a special shout out to the overall design of this. The screen is in the perfect little location where it won't get smudged up by your fingerprints. The wood grain itself looks really premium and feels premium as well. Although you guys, I'm not sure how well you guys can tell that on camera. And overall, they thought of everything it has this cool little magnetic charging um, that will last up to a month when it comes to this thing's battery life. All the buttons feel nice and it works really, really well with an iPhone. 7 go ahead and check out the site below 
All right, so next off, we're gonna jump inside of the application, and inside of the application, there's a pretty nice amount of things you can do, everything from reminders to basically taking selfies and putting them on the back of your phone case. So the first thing I'm gonna show off is how to take a typical normal image from your camera roll, convert it into black and white, and make it look pretty solid on the back of this case. As you guys can see right here, we have a hiking stick, and you can actually go and crop it, because the whole image, unfortunately, will not fit on that tiny little spot. And you can also adjust the contrast to make it look as best as possible. This is especially important when you're dealing with maybe like self shots if you want to place a picture of yourself on the back of your phone case you can also adjust the uh, rotation so if you want something to stand out just a little bit more you can go and do that afterwards transfer that to your phone case and it will automatically refresh uh, the back of your phone case now the coolest thing here is as you can see, it did it all by itself. You didn't have to go and swipe through or go through a bunch of images on the back or mess around with settings. Nope, you hit refresh inside of the application and it brings that image to the forward of the queue. Now, as you guys can see right here, another cool, useful quirk of this case is that you can actually put barcodes and scan those barcodes directly within the application. So it's known as membership cards and you can put maybe like a ShopRite card or as I said, a gym membership directly onto the back of your case and have that just, you know, sit there all the time. Or you can go into the application and go through a bunch of different membership cards and always have them there to go. It's kind of similar to Android uh, Pay or maybe Apple Pay, but with that said, you don't have to open the application every single time. You can actually have it just be there all the time. One scenario where I could picture this as really useful is maybe like a work environment. If you're scanning yourself into work every single day, it can get kind of tedious to have to rummage for your card and bring it out every time. So you can always have it on the back of your case. The next section inside of this is pretty interesting as well. It is known as your reminders. Look how cool that clock looks with the black. Now to swipe through, on this case, you simply hit the menu button and then you hit the next button. And as you guys can see, we have all our reminders directly from within the Apple Reminders application synced into the application and then the application transfer those, transfers those directly to the case itself. As you can see, the text is clear since it's e-ink. And if you guys don't know what e-ink is, it is meant for e-books. And uh, originally it was famous due to Kindle using it, but it's pretty famous and widely used now. And the coolest thing about it is that it doesn't use any battery unless you go and actually refresh. So you could take maybe like a black and white e-ink picture and leave it on the back of your phone case. And as long as you never hit any of those buttons, this case will basically stay like that forever so that's one of the coolest things no this is not something you have to charge overnight it's not something you have to charge on a weekly basis it's more of a something that you might have to charge on a monthly basis unless you're gonna hardcore use this every single day and go through your reminders on this every single day there are adjustable displays so if you don't want a particular section like reminders or in this case calendars you can go and choose to remove that as well but i think the coolest thing about this is that it syncs with apple you know a lot of people don't want to have to download this particular application and have to use only this application for your reminders most people want to stay with their reminders application which they use on a daily basis anyway and simply have everything pushed forward onto the case all on its own now settings wise you can go and mess around with your firmware and of course change it to 24 hour time if you wish to do so as well but for now i'm going to show you guys the coolest feature which is of course sending more images to the back of the case here's one with a skateboard being raised above some dude's head maybe me maybe not and there are a bunch of designs that come with this and so technically speaking, if you don't want to put any of your own images onto here, you can simply have these cool designs on there. And this is, of course, their marketing thing. So if you go on their site, these are the designs they're going to be showing off. There's zebra ones, there's diagonal ones. All of them are kind of trippy, but they look kind of cool and they work especially well with this case. Now, one cool thing that you could probably do is, you know, add a wood grain and then it could really match the wood grain vibe of this overall case. I'm going to show you guys one more. This is what hypothetically a picture of yourself might look on there. As you can see it will probably look really creepy <laughs> so you probably don't want to do that but if it's a normal shot like the skateboard one it might actually end up looking cool you never know until you try and be sure to adjust that contrast properly so it looks perfect all in all, guys, I give this case a 9 out of 10. The only downside to the entire case that I could think of was, of course, the price. It is slightly hefty, and a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's just a phone case. Why am I going to spend that much on a phone case? And I can't really blame them. But then again, keep in mind that this has the premium feel to it. It will protect your phone and on top of it. It will probably be useful in the long run when you put your cards on it. Maybe you put a few reminders on it. And maybe, you know what? Maybe you only use it once and put a cool picture of yourself on there, and everyone will give you compliments. If that's all you got, then go ahead and go for it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and check them out in the link below. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.